Hi there, I am Teacher Jane and I'm here to show you how to solve problems related to a sequence. This problem is lifted from the Mathematics 10 module, first quarter, page 16. Okay, let me read the problem. The first row of an auditorium has 20 seats. The successive rows increases by two seats from the previous row. If there are 30 rows in the auditorium, how many seats are there in the 30th row? Now, how do we solve this? It will be useful to use illustrations. So, let's take the first row. So, I'm going to use yellow for the first row with 20 seats. Now, it says in the problem that the second row has to increase by two seats. So, second row should have 20 seats in an additional two seats. So, let's write there that this is 20, then we have plus two seats. The third row has to increase also by two seats compared to the second row. So, our third row should have 20 plus 2 and another plus 2. So, 20 plus 2 and then another 2 chairs. Okay, the fourth row. Okay, so let's write there. Fourth row must have a plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. So, how many plus 2 is that? So, we have actually 3 plus 2. So, we have plus 2, plus 2, and then the last one, plus 2. Now, with this data, we can already see or recognize a pattern. So, let's okay, organize our data. So, our first one for the first row, okay, let's write it here. We have... 20 seats for the second row we have 20 then plus 2 and then our third row has 20 then we make a shortcut about 2 plus 2 instead we write 2 multiplied to 2 Okay, and then our fourth row, okay, has 20 plus 2. Then again, we make a shortcut about 2 plus 2 plus 2, and that becomes 2 multiplied to 3. Now, there's already a pattern here that's quite obvious, so we can actually say that the peep row would have 20 plus 2 multiplied to 4. Okay. Now, let's go back now to the question of the problem. The question is how many seats are there in the 30th row? Following the pattern, so the 30th row okay, has this solution. 20 plus 2 multiplied not to 30 but to 29. So, now we can solve this now. So, our 30th row. So, let's write there 30th. Okay. So, 2 times 29 is 58 plus 20. So, the 30th row would have 78 seats. Sorry for that. Okay, it's going to be 78 seats. So, I hope I made sense to this problem and you are able to understand problem or example number one on page 16. So, bye. Please watch my next video.